Have you previously played King? So I'm back to here, and honestly, it only took me about a half hour to 45 minutes from the beginning of the game. If you know everything you have to do and skip all the dialogue, you can get here pretty quickly. All right, let's go try this. Let me try this again. A few hours. Graham dons his warm cloak. I think the key is you just have to hurry. If you wait too long, he'll get hungry. Graham notices his stomach beginning to rumble with hunger from the exertion of the mountain climb. Oh man, maybe not. <clears throat> maybe you have to eat the leg of lamb. Oh. Well, I'm going to try it first and see how far I can get. Just as easy as that. You can just die out of nowhere. All right, let me get through this, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got, I just figured it out. So I had him eat the leg of lamb, and he only ate part of it. So I could still give the rest of it to the eagle. So I was afraid he was going to eat it all, and then I wouldn't be able to give the eagle anything, and then I'd be stuck later. So. All right, this is where I am now. Alright, I'm back here at the Yeti, Yeti's cave, crystal cave right now. Um, shit, I'm scared to save it now. I'm not gonna save it. I'm gonna just go for it because I think I can do it. I did also find that you can fall off the cliff anywhere if you're not careful. <laughs> Get him. Yes. Gotcha, bitch. All right, so now I am going to save it. But I know I did that right. Because I'm not really sure what to do next. I'm going to go in here, though. One especially beautiful crystal catches Graham's notice in the center of the crystal cave. So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He then carefully places it among his other possessions. I'm gonna guess that's all we can do here. I got the Eddie. Don't fall off the cliff. And we gotta get Cedric too. I see that the Yeti is dead. Queen Nice Sabella will be pleased. Come, follow me. Warning, this cartoon contains material. returned in victory, I presume? Yes, Your Majesty. The Yeti is dead. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are my friend and I free to go now? Yes. I keep my promises. I want to thank you for ridding my mountain domain of the horrible Yeti. Please rise, King Graham. Yes, I know who you are, and I have been informed of your quest. I do wish you luck against the Wizard Mordor. You two may go. We wish you well on your difficult journey. Sir Grey Wolf will show you the way out of the mountain.
All right. Um, this way? Use a lovely golden locket from the leafy clutches of the rock's nest. Um. Uh, nice birdie. Good birdie. <laughs> uh, Gucci, Gucci, Goo. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. I'll get you out of this. Never believe it, Cedric. You'd never believe it. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island. But I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey! What's that you say? Graham pounds on the door, but he finds it bolted from the inside. He can, however, hear activity within. You still here? Please help me. I need your help. I can't hear you. Can't understand a thing you said. Gotta speak up, boy. Now get out of here. I want to say I gotta find like a shell or something that is shaped like a horn you can stick in his ear and hear me or, or something like that. I think. Let's just go and check this out first. Oh. Look, Graham, there's a boat here. Maybe we can use it. I just have to remember that's what the bees are. Just no, 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 don't get. Yeah, so much. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. What else? There's a hole in the boat. Help, help. I knew that was going to happen. Help. So they don't want to push it out. Yeah. Thanks for playing King's Quest. Where did I save it at? Okay. All right, that's not too bad. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm back here again. I'm actually gonna save it right now. I'm gonna save over my old game that I screwed up. Um, An old cast-off sailboat sits forlornly on the narrow. An old cast-off sailboat sits forlornly on the narrow sandy beach. I know there's a hole in it, but I know there Firmly, Graham wedges the softened piece of beeswax into the small hole in the boat's hull. 
Hopefully, the wax will hold and make her seaworthy. So you'd never know that unless you went out there and died, like I did, and had uh, hopefully you saved it. Okay. Um, Come on, said. Aye, aye! I think we should, Cedric. Ooh, Graham, I don't like the looks of this. Me neither. Graham, Harpies! Keeping a sharp eye out for the harpies, Graham quickly bends down and rescues the fishhook from the ground. Yes, you did! I saw you steal a man off a raft just last week! I don't know. I think I... oh, shit. <laughs> Am I supposed to just beat him off with oh, the pipe? Oh, he doesn't count! He was already pissed over by the time I got... Ah! Oh, quit. come on! Oh, oh. Son of that a last step was a do... While keeping a sharp... Yes, you did! I'm trying to escape, eh? Hate to harp on the subject, but... Gr I'm tired of fish! I haven't got a man! Alright, after life. dying a few more times, I yes, did you I figured did. it out. I um, saw you steal a man off a raft! While keeping a sharp eye out for the harpy... Oh, he doesn't count! He was already pissed over by the time I got to him! Doing? What's that thing? I don't know, but I want it. Hey, Bring get it up here! Come on and get, get her, girl! Get her! Okay, where's Cedric? Graham! <laughs> Cedric! Where do you hurt? Oh, everywhere. <coughs> oh, yeah, Cedric. Uh... Graham bends over and picks up the beautiful shell. 
trouble here? Please help me. I need your help. I can't hear you. Can't understand a thing you said. Gotta speak up, boy. Now get out of here. Yeah. What's this? Now what were you wanting? My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded by the harpies. Wounded by the harpies, did you say? We'll bring him on into the house. How are you talking I'll fix like him that? right up. Good <laughs> as new. Lay him on the bed there. <laughs> These poultices should fix That's the weird. little fella up. Good as new. better already. Tell me, what was in those poultices? My employer would be very interested in them. Hey! What was that? I said, what was in those poultices? My employer would be interested in them. Gifts from the sea, lad. Gifts from the sea. Ain't nothing special. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think he'd find them particularly interesting. Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it's too late. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordax. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. I tried to talk you out of going there, except I can see you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. talk, but she's agreed to help you. Just get on into your boat and follow her. Cedric and I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Uh... Don't worry about who I am. You just get on over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. We're off. Come on, Cedric. Are you all right, Cedric? Well, let me see. Oh, I'm fine, Graham. Just a bit ruffled is all. Ugh, ah, a dead fish. Well, maybe I can use it. So this was my last save at the Harpies. This was my save before I got to the island. <clears throat> and I think I want to save those just in case I need something for this island that I didn't get. This one is before I went to the mountains. I know the mountains are good, so I'm going to do this. Unfortunately, nothing can be done about the wrecked boat. It appears that Graham and Cedric are stuck here, perhaps forever.
Save often with multiple saves, for sure. Alright. Let's do this again. Is it the crystal? Yeah. Cedric? Okay, can go around the side? Yeah. Uh, See? This is a dead end! Let's go back now! No, I'll figure this out. Graham tugs hard on the grate, but soon finds it's rusted in place and can't be budged. Do you have any better ideas? No, uh, mind if I wait for you here? No, that's a good idea, Cedric. You be the lookout out here. Uh, yes, who will be the lookout? Who will be careful, Graham? on top of his head, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. What does this guy want? Fish? It makes no impression on the huge beast. off the labyrinth floor. Okay, I guess the only thing to do now is to just go all the way back the way I came. Which... Oh, let's go down? Let's go this way. This is confusing. Is this a different way? Okay, dead end. 
to the castle. Okay. Just gonna open. Graham tries to open the wooden door, but to no avail as it's securely locked. What's that? Well, that's the hairpin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graham would look silly wearing that hairpin. No, use it in the door. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers to his amazement that it fits perfectly. Turning it ever so gently, he soon hears a soft click, and the door is unlocked. That was just pure luck that I happened to go the right way and find that creature. And then find this door. Just wandering. Oh, okay. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. Alright, I'm gonna save it again right now. I used that one last time. Hopefully I got everything I needed to Graham examines the contents of the shells, but doesn't see anything of interest. Hopefully I got everything I needed to out of those tunnels. Oh, hey. Don't come near me! Leave me alone! I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you. I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. I'm not. Believe me. Just go away. Please. I don't want to talk to you anymore. It's time to get her. Oh, yeah. That's it. Warning. This cartoon contains material. King Graham of Daventry. I think I know where that is. It's very far from my home, though. Don't worry. Somehow, I'll get you home again. But first, I've got to save my family. Yes, well, I'll stand by you, King Graham. I'll help if I can. Thanks. I may need it. Well, I'd better get back to work. And you should keep out of sight. Aye, aye, my lady. 
Okay. Oh, shoot. Didn't realize that volume was all the way up. I hope it's not too loud. Make sure there's nothing that I need in here. The stuff boiling in the pot doesn't look or smell very appetizing. Alright, I don't think there's anything in here that I need. There we go. Uh... A hideous yet fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. They play that? Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune. Uh -oh. All by itself. Graham doesn't see anything interesting with the fireplace. I don't see anything in here at all. Uh oh. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> I can't do anything. Poor Graham. Mordak shows no mercy. Okay. I have a an idea. Let's leave this thing alone this time. Nope. Okay. Maybe it was the organ. Oh, jeez. Who's that? Curiously, Graham looks at the strange figure, but sees nothing of use. Lying on that heart. Nothing, nothing. The thought of lying. Nothing. Oops. Graham looks out the window and views the distorted rocks and twisted forms of Mordak's strange island. Alright, this must be his bedroom, so let's go the other way. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> what do I do? To <laughs> that up? Poor Graham. Mordak shows no mercy. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I'm not sure what to do yet. Um, but I do think that I need to go to the manual which I can't switch to without screwing up the game. So I'm going to have to print that out um, to see the list of spells that I need for later on. So I'm going to leave this right here. Um, if you enjoyed, uh, leave a like. Leave me some comments for sure. Um, I, I'm really interested to hear anything, any advice that people have um, about making better videos or growing my channel, anything like that. So um, thanks for watching again, and subscribe if you haven't. If you did, if you do enjoy these, let me know. Sorry, I know I'm just kind of rambling now. All right, I'm going to get out of here, um, review this video. I might go a little farther with it today, um, but keep your eye out for the next one. Thanks. Bye.